Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mariam Zubair and my role number is 031. My department is BSR Technology, Batch 8. The topic of my presentation is Supercritical Fluid Chromatography. <clears throat> the contents are definition, introduction, principle, instrumentation, and application. First of all, we will look at the definitions. Um, I will tell you what is chromatography. It is a method of separation of complex mixtures. Um, if, we, if there are many types of chromatography like paper chromatography, supercritical fluid chromatography, I'll tell you what is supercritical fluid chromatography. Uh, chromatography is the method of mm, uh, separation of mixtures, if, complex mixtures, supercritical uh, critical liquid chromatography. It is a type of column chromatography in which supercritical fluid is used as a mobile phase for separation of mixtures. A supercritical it is the type of chromatography in which the mixtures are separated from the mobile phase by using the supercritical fluid what is supercritical fluid supercritical fluid uh, is that which contain temperature and pressure above its critical temperature and pressure uh, uh, sfc supercritical fluid chromatography is similar to high performance liquid chromatography except most of the mobile phase consists of fluid near or above the critical temperature the main fluids which are used in supercritical fluid chromatography are carbon dioxide are non-polar making sfc a form of normal phase chromatography the critical temperature of a substance is the temperature above which a distinct liquid phase cannot exist regardless of a temperature. The critical pressure is that the vapor pressure is at its critical temperature. No matter how much temperature and pressure is applied, the substance cannot exist as a liquid phase. This technique is hybrid of gas and high performance liquid chromatography, as I will tell you the earlier. It is relatively a recent chromatography chromatographic technique which is commercially available since 1982. The first critical chromatography is done in 1982. What are the advantages? Advantages such as rapid separation without the use of organic solvent, faster separation than uh, high faster separation then high performance liquid chromatography high, high resolution chromatography then gc thereby faster analysis of thermoliable compound supercritical fluid chromatography and pressures are the defining boundaries of a for a pure substance beyond these boundaries the properties of the substance are intermediate between liquid and gas in this region, the fluid has a good solvating power and high diffusivity. Now, this is the a short diagram. This is the pressure and this is the temperature, critical pressure and critical temperature. Here exists the liquid and the supercritical fluid chromatography exists between the liquid and the gas phase. You can see clearly. This is a diagram. It is a cylinder oven injector. Uh, the fluid passes from the cylinder to the oven and then from this. And high HP, high pressure liquid chromatography like setup with two reciprocating pumps designed to provide a mixed mobile phase with the packed analytical column placed in an oven followed by an optical detector this is a detector a gc like setup with syringe pump followed by a capillary uh, column in a gc oven with a resistor followed by a flame ionization detector where the pump is controlled by the flow rate of the pump this is a pump in, S in SFC, the mobile phase in is initially pumped as a liquid and uh, is brought into supercritical region by heating it above 
सुपर क्रिटिकल टेम्परेचर बिफोर इट एंटर्स द एनालिटिकल कॉलम इट पास थ्रू एन इंजेक्शन वॉल वेयर द सैंपल इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू सुपर क्रिटिकल स्ट्रीम एंड देन इन टू द एनालिटिकल कंपाउंड इट इज मेनटेन सुपर क्रिटिकल एज इट पास थ्रू द कॉलम एंड इन टू द डिटेक्टर बाई अ प्रेशर रजिस्टर प्लेस आइदर आफ्टर द डिटेक्टर और एट द एंड ऑफ द कॉलम रजिस्टर प्रिवेंट क्लॉगिंग वट इज मोबाइल फेस मोबाइल फेस इंक्लूड्स कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इथीन ब्यूटीन न्यूट्रस ऑक्साइड डाइक्लोराइड डाइफ्लोरोमिथीन डाइथाइल एथोर इमोनिया एंड टेट्रा हाइड्रोफ्यूरेन and then comes the reciprocating pumps syringe pump lc injection wall pneumatical driven wall conventional gc or lc oven capillary stainless open tubular common column stationary phase or fused silica uh, these are the this is the instruments of critical chromatographic fluid detectors optical flame ionization detector spectroscopic detector the result of r1 is sfc r chromatogram for what for example chromatogram of a separation of polymer it is schematically shown as follows this is a schematical diagram of the supercritical fluid chromatography separation of polymer samples you can see these are the solvents so this is pressure and this is time this is a graph applications the apparatus also include atf as supercritical fluid chromatography with co2 utilizes carbon dioxide pumps that requires the incoming co2 and pumps had be kept cold in order to maintain the carbon dioxide at a temperature and pressure that keeps it in a liquid state where it can be effectively metered at a uh, at some specified flow rate the co2 subsequently becomes uh, supercritical post the injector and in the column oven when the temperature and the pressure it is subjected to are raised above the critical point of the liquid and the supercritical state is achieved sfc as a chromatic process has been linked to a process having the combined properties of the power of a liquid to dissolve the matrix with the chromatic chromatographic interaction and kinetics of a gas the result is that you can get a lot of mass on a column per injection and still maintain a high chromatographic efficiency typically gradient elution is employed in analytical sfc using a polar co-solvent such as methanol possibly with weak acid or base at low concentration 1% the effective plate counts per analysis can be observed to exceed 500000 plates per meter routinely with 5 um material the operator uses software to set mobile phase flow rate co solvent composition <clears throat> system back pressure and column oven temperature which must exceed 40 degrees celsius for super critical conditions to be achieved with co2 in addition sfc provides an additional control parameter pressure by using an automated back pressure regulator from an operation, operational standpoint sfc is as, as simple reverse as hplc but fractional collection is more convenient because the primary mobile phase evaporates leaving only the analyte and a small volume of polar covalent the mobile phase is composed primarily primarily of supercritical carbon dioxide but since co2 on its own is too non polar to efficient effectively evaluate 
many analytes co-solvents are added to modify the mobile phase polarity. Uh, co-solvents are typically simple alcohols like methanol or isopropyl alcohol. Other solvents such as chloroform or ethyl acetate can be used as modifier. For food grade material, the selected co-solvent is often ethanol or ethyl acetate, both of which are generally recognized as safe. The solvent limitations are systems and based column based now what are the applications Applica uh, it is commonly used as the separation of chiral molecules now commonly used as for a coil separations and purification in pharmaceutical industry Purification of thermo-liable compounds, characterization of polymers, complex distribution can be resolved, low temperature can be used, oligomers can be detected, solute diffusatives, separations of enantiomers. Now, there are some drawbacks which are, there have been a few technical issues that have been adoption of supercritical cube chromatography technology first of which is the high pressure operating conditions high pressure vessels are expensive and bulky and special materials are often needed to avoid dissolving gasets and o-rings in the supercritical fluid a second rock break is difficulty in maintaining pressure whereas liquids are nearly incompressible so their densities are constant regardless of pressure supercritical fluid are highly compressible and their physical properties change with pressure such as the pressure drop across a packed bed column currently automated back pressure regulators can be maintained a constant pressure in the column even if the flow rate varies this problem and that's all from my side thank you